Often when people hear the word leeches, it brings to mind ghastly medieval medical treatments. And when they hear the words hyperbaric chamber, it brings to mind the treatment of deep sea divers who have the bends. Well, neither procedure is readily associated with modern breast cancer treatment, but they are. In today's Focus for the Cure, we'll talk to a woman who was able to have successful breast reconstruction because of those treatments and meet the world-renowned doctor who helped her. In 2003, Myrna Leuterstein was diagnosed with breast cancer. After she had a mastectomy to remove the cancer, the surgeon who was going to perform a breast reconstruction noticed that her remaining tissue was congested with blood and had turned blue. He felt that I had to keep the tissue uh, with uh, the blood circulating and oxygen into the tissue. Myrna's doctor knew that he had to do something to remove the old dead blood cells and increase the circulation of new blood to bring oxygen into the tissues. Sometimes the flaps become congested and uh, the blood builds up in the tissue and doesn't drain sufficiently. So we use the uh, age-old medical leeches that are placed on the skin flap and they will actually suck out the old blood. Today, when you see Myrna riding her bike through the neighborhood, it's hard to believe what she went through. This is gross, but I had leeches put all over. And I would sit there in his office for maybe two, three hours, whatever it took. And trust me, I didn't feel anything. The other thing the leech does is it injects an anticoagulant into the tissue because it wants to suck the blood out. But in order to get the blood out, it has to liquidize the blood. And that's a great benefit to the flap that is threatened. I guess after three, four days, uh, Dr. Becker said everything, the leeches did their job. I had oxygen. Everything was circulating. Incredible. For more information on this story, contact the Susan G. Komen for the Cure helpline at 561-514-3020.